Well, hello everyone. I am Maddie Anderson from Top Rope Squishy, and I am here to bring you episode 27 of my show, Top Rope Tuesdays, where I talk to you about my wrestler of the week, a couple of moves of theirs that I like, and a couple of facts about them that maybe you didn't know. Half the time when I'm talking about some of these wrestlers, their wrestling facts are things that I was not aware of. So I figured, you know, some people might want to know this stuff. So but before we get started, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Top Rope Squishy. And please hit that subscribe button if you are watching this and you are not subscribed to my show. This is not the only show I do. I also drop uh, predictions on Monday as a character Squish Jadamas. And on Thursdays at 7.15 p.m. Eastern, I do my live wrestling talk show uh, podcast where I bring other podcasters onto my podcast so that we can discuss some wrestling together. So please subscribe, hit that like button, drop me a comment, hit the notification bell. And if you haven't already, check out the link in the description for merch. We have shirts. So this is leg locks are my love language. There's plenty of different shirts. This is one of the original, if not the first hoodie, which I don't even think is available, but we have some amazing hoodies. Um, we also have mugs. This is one of two designs. So please, please, please check it out. And we do have phone cases. Yeah. So yeah, check out the merch, hook yourself up. And now on to my wrestler of the week, Minoru Suzuki. Yes, Minoru Suzuki. So here's some fun facts about Minoru Suzuki when it comes to me. I didn't know he existed until I saw him in AEW. I try to tell people, listen, I was out of the wrestling world for a long time. I had a good 10 years where I didn't watch anything. And so many amazingly amazing wrestlers developed and became famous during this time. And I am just finding out about them. So after seeing um, Minoru Suzuki's match against Brian Danielson, I, I just had to because I was like, this is a 53-year-old man that started wrestling in the 80s. And he is still going. So props to Minoru Suzuki for just having an amazing career. His match against Brian Danielson was, it was done on YouTube as a buy-in for AEW um, prior to their Rampage show that night. It was just so impressive. This, this man can just take and give and the way that he counters moves his submission holds and how fast he really is just blessing to Minoru Suzuki um he's known for quite a few wrestling moves um he used to do I don't even know if he still does it I haven't can't recall that I've seen him do it recently but um it's called the gotch pile driver um so it's a pile driver obviously and he also does like a rear a uh, rear naked choke, but he's been known to do like a juji katame, a drop kick, uh, manji katame, sakio toshi, and a whole bunch of other moves. These are all types of grappling and submission moves. So yeah, he's really good at grappling and submissions. And now some facts about Suzuki. So he debuted on June 23rd of 1988. He was a co-founder of this uh, organization. I'm probably going to destroy the name. It's called Pancrase. Pancrase. Um, it was one of the first mixed martial arts organizations in the world. And he was a co-founder. Um, in the 90s, uh, he was also known as one of the best fighters for that promotion. And uh, he, throughout his wrestling career, has been known for being a freestyle and catch style wrestler. And he also um, ended up wrestling as an Olympic alter alternate for Japan and was actually a former Japanese freestyle wrestling champion. Um, also, 
uh, he debuted and trained in a NJPW. That is where he debuted as a pro wrestler. But he left shortly after uh, to to wrestle at a newly formed uh, UWF. But then he left to you know form his mixed martial arts organization Pancrase um, in 1993. But you know, with the time doing mixed martial arts and being actually involved was taking a toll on his body. So, you know, in 2003, Suzuki decided to return to NJPW, but throughout those years from 2003 on to now, he's wrestled at Pro Wrestling Noah, All Japan Pro Wrestling, Ring of Honor, and most recently, of course, AEW. Um, but of course, you know, he's doing most of his wrestling with NJPW, but thanks for, to the awesome forbidden door that has been opened, uh, we get to see some more of Suzuki-san at AEW. So that was my wrestler of the week, Minoru Suzuki. If you know anything about him that I didn't mention, feel free to drop it in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Um... And if you don't, like I said, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Top Rope Squishy. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and check out the link in the description for some merch. And as Squishtradamus always leaves you with a lot of love, a lot of peace, but above all, y'all, a lot of wrestling. Until next time, Squishtradamus, Squishy, Natty, Top Rope Squishy. <laughs> call me what you like, but just call me. I'm out.